going to show people um, how I'm doing the attendance register. I've seen a lot of Google Forms. Uh, Anita from Picton sh shared me hers, and um, to help, and I actually really liked how it displayed. But um, the thing I wanted to change is that it auto populates itself; that you actually don't need to go and do any data across. So I'll show you firstly what that looks like. So um, we'll start with what the parents and kids will see. So here they literally just pick class, uh, who, would it, who they are, the date, so Thursday the 30th, and how am I feeling today? I'm in the red zone. Submit, they're done, students are done. On here, how that looks, um, so you're not getting all the things, each one goes to a new section, which you can add down here, very easy. Um, so each class has its own section. Uh, important that it is named like this for what I'll show you later on. So make sure the questions with the actual class and your name with um, the double dots. So you'll see across here, um, when you're doing it, you may want much easier than typing them all out. I'll show you, student emails that you use then first name together, surname. Uh, you might, just so you don't type them up, the formula up here will grab first name, that's literally just for a space, and their surname, so they're all together. You grab all the kids in the class, copy, and then you'll just paste them in and they'll auto fill down. Um, <coughs> down here we have calendar, and how are you feeling today? Um, doesn't really matter, but just I like them to match up. So blue goes to blue. That's why they are in the order they are in. Scrolling down in the order that the colors are written just to match the responses. So you'll see the responses here. It's not very helpful for anything. So what you actually will be using is obviously the Excel doc. Now, this is how it displays. Again, that's just a lot of data, not overly useful. This is just us showing how it works and me testing my formula. But it displays here, and this is what I like about it. So you create the outside, all the information, but everything within it auto-populates. So it matches up. If you look here, the formula, which is up here, quite a complex one. I haven't written one like this before. It took a while to try and work out. So it finds the date, finds the child, and then finds their response and puts it in there. Then it matches with a conditional formatting. If it starts with a G, it will give it a green color and so on in those cells. Um, so just with the formula, it will be literally, you can put in the first box and drag down, drag across, and you'll just need to recolor those lines once you do that. Um, what do we got? Q2, that's the same, the same. Q48, so 48 refers to how far down on that first page it goes. So the duplicate that I've made to share with everyone only goes down to five, and each time a new person responds, it will add a line. Um, it's important because I had it firstly to 30,000 because I didn't want to have to change it again, and it actually took quite a while for each tab to process. So for huge schools, it may take about a minute or two to process through and you'll see a little box here saying um, something to do with the formula processing. Um, anyway, so when you go through, you'll need to change that number if it doesn't work. It's just if you're noticing it's working for some and not through, just check that that number is changing down each time a new response comes in. Um, C2, O, this one here, O is important. That refers to, so C2 to O is here, C2 over to O, that's where my classes go up to. So if you have more classes, you'll need to change that letter to a higher one. The 48 just refers to how far down and that will auto change. Um, the other thing though, is you may need to go if well, with less classes to J. So you'll just need to check that that formula is right. Um, that will stay the same, will stay the same. Again, the O, so it's the exact same. So whatever letter you change to there, change to there. Uh, 
48 is how far down, but you shouldn't need to change that. And the one that I'll share with everyone, which is a duplicate, which is here. <clears throat> I have, yeah, done it as five. So five, five, and it should auto change. The only thing you may need to, and this one might need a slight change because I added a two R, we don't have a two R. I haven't actually changed the letter, so um, that will need fixing up. So I'll fix that up before I share this with everyone, the actual one, because it doesn't go in order. So I'll need to change that because that will be a bit more painful. Um, otherwise, the formula is there and you literally, um, I'll just share that. You copy it in the cell, drag it down, drag it across. It's already done on this example, but I think you'll find it easier to actually make your own Excel document and copy all that and just paste it in. Um, okay, what else do I need to show? Um, I think that's all of it. Um, so just quick run through again, you use student emails. Uh, don't like that display, I use it in Excel. So again, Grab the ch children's names for your class. So there's one to the end there. Uh, copy them. Paste them in your form. So, do do do, example one. So simply say it's here. Easiest just to delete that question and do another question. B, add question, your name, change it back to multiple choice and drop them down and they'll auto fill in. Um, so like I said, it's actually easier probably to make it new. You just need to, again, always check that it goes to the right section. You don't want the ones going the wrong way. And that's why if you name it here, it's very easy to match them up. Um, so that's all good, uh, they're done. Uh, what I would then have is work on your form. Don't actually click that yet till you know your form is right and in the right order. And then hit um, there where it'll actually give you the option to link to a document you've made. Okay, uh, thanks guys, um, hopefully it helps.